Interested in discovering how to develop your very own custom battery pack? At BBMBattery.com, our battery experts can help you design exactly what you're looking for. So today we're going to show you all the necessary steps in order to create a part number for us to develop a custom battery pack for you. So we have chosen a random battery pack part number for our example, uh, as you can see displayed on the wall there. The part number itself doesn't really matter um, for this explanation, but um, you can see that there are red numbers under each part of the underlying uh, part number. Each of them explains the four different steps uh, you must go through in order to develop this part number, and I'll briefly go through each of them now. I'll go uh, further into explaining them once we actually go through the steps online, but just to get you grounded in what we're doing, I'll uh, run through each one of them. So the first one is the quantity of the cells. Uh, the second red number is the battery code number. The third one being the style or the layout of the battery placement. And the fourth one is the termination or connector number. So taking you to the home page of our website at bbmbattery.com, uh, customers will find in the top row of our picture panels there, you can see a window that says custom battery pack. If you click on that window, it will take you to another part of our website which is the custom battery pack uh, page. This has a short blurb explaining to you um, the several things we can do when designing a battery pack for you. You can bypass that because the most important thing for this tutorial is to take you to the bottom um, because we're going to be focusing on the design portion. So you can see in the third link down there is one that explains custom battery pack design. If you'd like to click on that, it will take you yet again to a different page. And this is the custom battery pack design page which explains each of the steps in order to develop your final part number. Uh, the first step in ordering to designing your own custom battery pack is choosing the cell. Most customers know the kind of cell that they want prior to visiting our website or they have been told by their boss what they must use. Um, if you don't know what you would like to use, you can find individual cells within our website and each uh, page explains the voltage and amp powers, all the specifications in order to determine which cell you would need. But that is the, the first part and a very important part of this process. After you choose which cell you would like to use, you can move on to the second step being choosing the configuration required. So the configuration is just a fancy word for the layout of the battery pack. Um, if you were to scroll down on the custom battery pack design page, it would take you to a chart such as the one displayed on the wall here. This chart is everything that our company offers our customers in terms of battery pack configuration or layout. Um, if you find that you um, have a layout or have an idea of a layout that you, we have not displayed in our chart, then feel free to call us or email us on our website, but most customers find what they are looking for on this chart. We have chosen for our example the third one down in the chart, um, and it happens to be the, th the third part number as well. As you can see, it is a pretty simple layout being four cells lying flat horizontal, uh, horizontally together. Um, as I explained, you use that part number on the far left in your final product. So you have to make note of which part number you would like to use because it aligns with the layout and it can tell us what you would like your battery pack to look like for the most part. After um, the second step, you can move on to determining the component requirements. Sometimes this is not an important part of the process because not all battery packs need this, but some battery packs may require thermal components such as poly switches, thermal cutoffs or temperature devices, sorry. In the third step on our website, you can find links for each um, in the text if, and you should be able to find what you're looking for because it is charged such as the ones that we have displayed on the wall. So the fourth step, fourth and final step in this process is to determine, determine the ter termination connector. So once again, in the text, you will find links to each of the connector pages and as you can see we have displayed on the wall uh, what you would find in our website. Um, 
As I said before, we usually have what people are looking for when they come on the website, but you can feel free to call or email if you can't find what you're looking for. Um, all the specifications um, needed to determine which wire and connectors you need can be found on this page, and it is associated with a picture just above it. So we have chosen the second one down um, in the chart. It is a little white connector. The picture isn't that important, but the part number is. As you can see on the left, it is part number BBM-CA-0132-3. Now this was the fourth red number that I explained earlier in the final part number. So showing you once again the final product. Hold on one second. There we are. It is the final portion of the part number. So going through once again, because um, I hope I made it clear for everyone. The first part is the quantity of the cells. The second part is the battery code number or the code number for the individual cells. The third part is the format or layout of your battery pack. And the fourth and final part being the determination and wires. So once again, I hope I made it clear for everybody out there. And uh, we also hope that you will place an order very soon. Thank you and good luck.